What's up tubers, Tio here, Simplistic Fishing, back at you for our final video this week. And this time we're gonna jump into a new lake. I was hoping to get Stillhouse Hollow Reservoir done this week with the offshore hotspots, but that's not happening because my PC doesn't wanna play nicely with me, especially it doesn't wanna play nicely with my phone. So I gotta get that figured out, but I promise I'll have those offshore stuff to you for Stillhouse, hopefully by uh, next week. But tonight we're gonna jump into a new lake and this lake was actually rated number 11 on Bassmaster's top 100 lakes to fish in the United States. It's a smaller lake, not a huge lake, uh, but lots of good stuff on it. What's the lake? It's Oak Creek Reservoir. That's right, you guys that suggested the uh, Oak Creek Reservoir Lake Breakdown. You're in for a treat, because that's what we're gonna go dive in tonight. Let's go. Let's get started on Oak Creek Reservoir. As always, we always start off on the Texas Park and Wildlife page, talk a little bit about the characteristics of the lake. It also gives us some really good information about the lake, uh, water clarity, all of that. Uh, and then we'll move on into the Google Earth side. So before we go do anything, though, a little bit of a surprise for you here. I was reading the Bass Masters 100 Best Bass Lakes in America, and this lake is actually number 11 on the list. In fact, in the fourth quarter of last year, it produced two share lunkers, one that was 11.8 and one that was 11.1. Um, so definitely uh, definitely some big bass roaming around in this lake for sure out in West Texas. So let's talk about uh, some of the other stuff that's in here. First off, lake characteristics. It's located on the Oak or located on Oak Creek in Cook County or Coke County. Sorry, I don't know if it's Cook or Coke, however they uh pronounce that eight miles north of Bront. Man, they got some tough stuff or maybe Bronte, don't know, on Texas Highway 70. The surface acres, pretty small lake, only 2,375 acres, so not that big of a lake. Maximum depth is 51 feet. It was impounded in 1952. If you look at the current lake levels, uh, you'll notice that the lake is down. These lakes are always down. You can see it's just trending downward. You're down quite a bit right here. This is October of 2022. This lake is down almost, uh, I don't know, that's a ton. Let's look and see what it says because uh, I have a hard time reading their charts on some of these. But if we look right over here and we look at conservation pool, let's get historical data. Percentage pool is only 50% full. So that is crazy. Uh, you can see here negative 10 feet, 10 feet below pool right now. So you've got to be very careful on these lakes. All of our lakes in Texas right now, I'm speaking to you in October 22, obviously, all of our lakes are very, very low. So unfortunately, uh, that makes a little bit tougher fishing, but that's all right. We can figure it out. So let's keep on moving down here. We're going to look at the uh, the aquatic vegetation says a few cattails along the shoreline in the main part of the lake. It does talk about uh, down here when you get into angling opportunities and talking about catching the largemouth bass and stuff. Um, it does talk about them being down here in some timber, uh, some flooded terrestrial vegetation. So I'm not sure what terrestrial vegetation is, uh, but we'll definitely take a look at it and we'll find out once we get onto Google Earth. We talk about predominant fish species on this lake. We've got largemouth bass, white bass, channel and flathead catfish, and white crappie lake records. Pretty decent largemouth bass out here, 13.68. And I think this is the key. This one's actually pretty recent, 2019. It's only about three years ago. And then you just heard there was an 11.8 and 11.1 caught last fall. So uh, definitely some, some big fish roaming around in this one. Uh, go over here, lake maps, not much available. Uh, we'll share some stuff with you here. Hopefully it'll help you out. And then when you look at angling opportunities, you've got largemouth bass, which is good. I'm starting to wonder if maybe this needs to be excellent, but it could be uh, that largemouth bass fishing is good. So you don't catch a lot of fish, but when you do catch fish, you catch quality fish. Uh, also catfish, crappie, white bass, and sunfish. Again, here's the fishing, when it talks about fishing, the cover and the structure. Uh, the upper end of the reservoir is mainly mud flats and river channels with fallen timber. The main part of the reservoir has mud flats with flooded terrestrial vegetation, rock bluffs, and a few riprap dikes and the dam. So obviously this part right here, if you're a bass fisherman, this is probably where you're going to spend most of your time on this lake. 
not saying that you can't get up there in the flats and the river channels and catch fish, but um, definitely you're, you know, you're going to have some more success and at least a little more opportunities to fish uh, out here, especially if that water level is 10 feet low. That is almost scary. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over. We're going to go over to Google Earth. We're going to take a look at this lake. Here we go. Well, let's jump in to Oak Creek Reservoir and see what we can uh, come up with here. So I'm going to zoom in here. A couple things I wanted to show you over here on the left-hand side before we get started. Let's go ahead and pull this over so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, first off, we have this sorted by a couple different things. So we've got the channels and the creeks. Uh, so that's going to be up here, pretty much all of these green uh, things. Those are basically going to be tracks, and those tracks will actually line you up with the channels or the ditches if there's ditches in here. I don't know if we have too many ditches in this one, but uh, but basically you, it allows you to really pay attention to where you're fishing and really get set up correctly on those creek channels to have some, some success. We've also got lots of different color uh, cover out there. Uh, you can see we've got flats, uh, humps, ledges, brush, all kinds of good stuff to go over and cover with you guys today. We've also got some docks, uh, definitely some docks that you should take a look at. Uh, primary areas to fish, kind of key key docks that we think are going to be good for you. That's something fairly new for simplistic fishing. Uh, we also have offshore hotspots, so lots of different offshore hotspots uh, to talk about, whether that be road beds, drop-offs, ledges, stuff like that. We're definitely going to go over and talk about all those. We'll actually do those through using uh, Navionics. Uh, mobile apps, you guys can actually see the contour lines and see why we believe those are going to be good spots to fish. And then we also got several different ramps in the lake. You can see here lots of different ramps. And we've got rocks, uh, quite a bit of rocks. You can tell, you know, up on the northern end, it is kind of muddy, but then you do have quite a bit of rock down here, um, over here down by the dam, just like it said on the description. So that is how we have this lake broke down. I'm going to select all of these again. I'm going to take off the offshore because we're not going to talk about that on this video. We're going to pull this back. And then what we're going to do is go up here to the time lapse and we're going to take a look at this lake and see what the best image is that we can get. So I just mentioned to you guys earlier um, that basically the lake is down 10 foot right now. So this image right here that we're seeing, according to Google Earth, says that it's August of 2022. So you can see here the lake. Um, you know, it definitely is way down. You can see all this stuff that should be underwater. So good news is, is we can actually, well, good news, bad news. I don't know how you want to look at it. We can actually pull this down even further. Um, so what we're going to do is use this timeline up here. We're going to keep going back usually 2015, um, you know, 2016, that kind of area. That was when it got really, really tough. You can see here we've got a pretty good image here. We've got lots of brush and stick ups. And that's really key on these West Texas lakes is to find this underwater brush that grows when the lake uh, gets way down and then it floods back up and you get out on the outside edges of this brush. You can really have some success with some of that stuff or just flip it in, into it. So that's 2017. Here we go. Now we're in 2016. You can see the lake is ridiculously low. That brush is even way out here now. Uh, so you're going to have lots of opportunities on this lake to go out and fish the, the flooded brush. I don't see, we're going back to 2014, 2013, and that's probably about as, as good as it's going gonna, it's gonna, to gonna get right there. 2013 is probably not as good as the other one. Let's go back to 2014. I was just sitting here. I got distracted here because if you look right here, there's a brush pile right here that I did not see the first time, and that is a pretty significant brush pile. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that one while we're here and we'll go back and we'll, we'll fix that later on, but that's, that's kind of interesting. So let's go back 2012, just make sure we're good. Yeah. 2014 looks like it's going to be our best image. Um, and that brush is actually gone in 2014. So they must've taken it out or something. That's very strange. So now we got to get rid of it. It's like they went down there and you can see where they almost removed it. I don't know if they removed it and pushed it further out or what they did, but it's gone. So let's delete that because it's not there anymore. And let's go ahead and get started on this thing. So I'm going to stay at February 2014. And what we're going to do is we're going to start at the dam and we're going to work our way to the right, uh, up the east side, northeast side, and then all the way back down and around. So obviously when you start off at the dam, you've got the rock around the dam, which is pretty big. Uh, you know, pretty big, pretty fun to uh, to fish around. You can always find some fish hanging around the dam on pretty much all the lakes, especially any of them that have these type of riprap type 
uh, dams. Those are always good dams to fish around. Now, the thing that I like about this one is, of course, it's 2022, so we'll have to pull it up and see what it looks like in 2022. But in 2014, when the lake was way down, you can see that it uncovered a little ledge right here. And so that looks really interesting. You've also got some more rock out here and some individual rock formations right in here, right off the edge of these points. If I pull in, you'll see them. They're just like little miniature, little rocky areas. And then you've also got some more that are right over here. So let's do this. Let's, there's some more rock up there and there, but that might be out of the, out of the water now with it being 10 feet low. But let's go ahead and pull this up. You guys got to see that in 2014. Let's pull it back to 2022. This is August of 2022, so it's possible that that uh, that ledge that we were looking at, it might actually be still be underwater. Those rocks that we were looking at, it might still be underwater. So all of this stuff could definitely become be into play. Man, the lake must have just been ridiculously low back in 2014, <clears throat> 2014, 2015. It was it was really really low for sure. All right, so let's keep moving on up. The next thing that we have here. If we look over here on the, the right side, I'm going to zoom back, kind of show you where I'm in. I'm just going up from the dam. We've got the uh, a boat ramp that's here. Obviously, it's not that far out of the water. We've got the water way down right here. But if you pull out over here, this point looks really good. It's got a really good point, has some pretty good rock around it right here and right here. And this dock uh, could be a good dock to fish as well. Just the way that it's setting up just on the edge of that point uh, makes it, you know, makes it a pretty good dock to be fishing. You've also got additional rock that's all back in here. So you got some behind this dock. This stuff's going to be way shallow, uh, but you've got some more rock that's right in here. And then if you zoom in really closely, it looks like there's a brush pile right here, a pretty good, pretty decent sized brush pile. Now that could be uh, just the wave setting up to where it looks like it's a brush pile, but it's not. But I believe that there's a brush pile there. So definitely go take a look at that. Let's pull it back to about 2013 and see if we can. Now nah, we can't see anything in 2013. 2014 is the best, but you can see there's something there. I don't know what it is, but there's something there, so check it out. We've also got additional rock going up this bank line, all behind these docks. These docks look like they have some pretty good depth to them. I mean, the water's down in this image, and you still have some pretty good depth in these docks. You've also got uh, another little rock pile that's over here, just a hard spot. And you know those fish love those little hard spots. And this one's going to be kind of off the beaten path, right? Most people are going to come in here and fish the docks probably and they may fish the bank line and then fish the dock up and down and stuff like that but they're going to miss but there's a hard spot right there beside the side of the dock you've also got some additional trees and lay downs that are down here just some bigger trees you gotta be careful with those or really fish around them definitely um, and then up in here when the water gets up high enough you've also got some little rock ledges that are kind of hidden in here a little bit there and then you've got a little rock pile that's right here so again, let's let's take a look at these. We'll look at these brush piles and this flat that's out here. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the water up and take a look at it and see what it looked like in August of this year. So uh, we move on up here. We've got some brush piles that have been put out here. You can see there's about four of them. This one's not as big. That's actually pretty good size. And these are all really good size. But they're big enough for us to see them on Google Earth. They're definitely going to be big enough for us to see them on our finders and things like that. And then we've also got this flat that's way out here. A uh, nice little point that comes out, and then you notice it's got a really nice flat top on it. You know, those are do-nothing kind of areas, but they can really produce fish sometimes, so definitely go take a look at them. Um, you know, I like to fish the, the flats that have kind of the harder spots on them, but we don't have a lot of opportunities for that on this lake when we get out of here, so that could definitely be a good area to take a look at. And then we've also got some rock that's up here. So if we look over here, there's actually, this could be rock too, and I think actually it is almost could have just drawn a line here and just kind of followed just this little area back here where this dock is. The dock might be on permanent land. I can't tell, but there you definitely have some rock that's right in here. So you could focus right in here in this area and then definitely out here off the edge of this point where this rock is out here. This is some really good stuff right out here. I like all this area right in here. And then you've got the nice feeding table, uh, the flat that's up on top, which makes it look even cooler. So let's go ahead and swap right there. I'm going to pull this back. So we've gone from here to about right there on this lake. I'm going to pull it up to 2022 and you're going to see that this looks totally different. All those rocks we were looking at, they're gone. The brush, uh, you got the brush here that you can't even tell is there anymore. Those brush piles, that flat, that flat that was there is right here. That rock we were talking about the edge of the point, that looks really good. Um, 
I have no idea what's going on with this dock. It just, it's all craziness all right in here, but uh, definitely around that dock, that, that's going to be a really good dock. If it's still there, that dock's going to be a good dock to fish around. Uh, so definitely go take a look at that. All right, so let's go back to 2014. 2015, 2014, they're both the same images. And then we're going to go down in here and we're going to get down inside of this pocket. Now, some things that I want you to look at, obviously, when you're fishing around this point, you know, definitely look around the harder areas and stuff like that. I think you'll have some success. And don't be scared to kind of follow that rock back. You know, just, just basically look where that dock is and just imagine there's a bank line there. Um, and then also right here, there's another little like secondary point that sticks out and it's definitely got a hard spot on it. So uh, look there when you're fishing that point and hopefully you'll be able to locate something in that area. We've also got some additional hard spots back here in the back. So further back in here. Now this looks like I'm way back in here, but when I pull it up and show it to 2022, it's going to look like you're out in the middle of the lake, uh, but the really good rocks right in here as well. And then of course, if the water's up enough, they've dug this out, like dredged it out, and they've created this little ledge that's right here. And sometimes those little ledges like that, those little secret areas, that nobody knows about and you can't really tell that they're even there um, sometimes those can get loaded with fish so definitely go and check that out if you can get back in there you've got this really long ramp right here too um, that you could fish around when the water's up uh, you got some debris that's back up in here so you can see here they've set something up here and so you've got all this debris i don't know if that's an old dock or what it is but when i flood when i pull this up and flood it back up uh, you're going to see that that looks a lot different so let's go back to uh, actually let's look at these these three or four let's go up to here to that ramp and then we'll pull the water up and see what it looks like so uh, we're going to go over here get off the edge of this point we've got a hard spot that's right here you can see it and we've also got another one that's right here too so when you're scanning here just look to your left you should see a little hard spot there too they're not big spots but they're big enough to where they could attract fish for sure and when moving on up here we've got some pretty big brush piles right in here uh, some more rock that's just kind of right in this area it's weird because this, it's, you know, it's like muddy and then all of a sudden you just find the rocky stuff. So also right here by this dot, this area right here, I would put a lot of attention to this area right here. I love how it has, well, obviously it's coming off of a flat or something right here and it's dropping pretty good and you've got a really good hard spot right here. This dock is kind of back in like a little, little pocket here. And then you got a main lake point that's over here too, or maybe not a main lake point. Yeah, it is a main lake point. Uh, right here too. So all kinds of good stuff going on right there. So I'd put a lot of attention. If I was going out there uh, today, and this would be my first time ever going out to this lake, uh, and after doing this breakdown, I think this is probably the area that I would start at um, more than likely. Now, maybe if it gets further into the fall uh, and they're not as deep and they're up really shallow, maybe not. Uh, and maybe I wouldn't start here. Maybe I'd start out on maybe some of these flats and things like that, but I would definitely go check out this spot for sure. All right, so let's pull this up and let's go back here and look at these couple more spots before we uh, before we put the water back where it is. We got some pretty good trees back here, some good flipping opportunities right in here. And I like this little pocket. You know, they could collect in there really easily. You got another tree here, some really good trees right in here. And then just randomly out here, you've got this little rock. Uh, and it's not really that little, but it's a pretty good little area of of a hard spot just right there on the edge there could be some other rock back in here or something that i can't see as well and then off the edge of this point you've got all this brush right here that you could fish around and you've also got a hard spot right off the top of this point where i put a rock so let's pull this back and again we're going to go back to 2022 remember all the stuff here that we just talked about we had those rocks those trees we had that rock that was out here off this point remember that money dock that i was telling you about right in here um Let's take a look at that in 2022. So here we go. Moving it up to 2022. Now that's that dock's gone. Uh, so we don't know what happened to that dock, but the formation and everything is still there. So this is going to be a good area right in here. So go look in here and then right in here is that point. Again, it looks different. If you're out here on the lake, you don't see it the way that we saw. If you, you look at it differently, it doesn't look nearly as good. But if you pulled the water back to 2014, you would realize that that is a really good spot to be fishing around right here and right here. So it's like the tip of that point has that drop. So let me go back to 2022. Right here is where it drops. And then this is where you have that little indention somewhere right in here. And then it kind of goes out here 
and has that rock there. So I'll quit focusing on that point. But anyways, this is why I think this uh, this imaging is just so awesome because we can pull the lake down and see what's underneath us and get a visualization of what, what it looks like underneath us is pretty cool. All right, so let's keep moving on down. We talked about the uh, the ramp that was up there. You know, the edge of that ramp, I don't know what that is. I guess that would be on the land, so let's not worry about that. We talked about the brush that's right here. We've got ramps out here as well. We've got some more rock right off the edge of this point right here and a really good hard spot right here. In fact, basically from that ramp over to about the little back end of this little pocket right here, it's all going to be hard spot. That's all going to be a good spot to fish around. There's already somebody there fishing, in fact. And then we've also got some more rock right here outside. And this has got some brush back in here too. So I just like this spot right here. Really, really hard spot right in this area, this whole area. This dock can be good too. You've got some additional big old rock there. Uh, obviously the water's got to come up to for that to become an advantage. You've got a ramp that goes pretty far out here. So this is going to come into play and definitely be one of those ramps that you're going to want to take a look at. You've got some additional rock that's here. And then off the point up here, You've got a really nice uh, line of the brush. Remember when I told you to get on the outside edges of that? So this is where you could do it. You could go out here and get, uh, basically, just get up on the outside edge of this and just stay right over here and right through here and just stay on the outside edge and flip and put swim baits around them, stuff like that, spinner baits, uh, all kinds of stuff. And I think you're going to have some good success out there right around where that brush is. We've also got some rock that's back in here. You can see there, pretty good pile of rock and a really good pile of rock right here too. This thing is pretty cool. It's like it's got all these different little magical rock piles. Like I don't think I'd spend too much time uh, fishing the bank. I just fish offshore on this one because this one just sets up so well for offshore fishing. You've also got brush piles here. You've got some additional little brush line here, pretty thick brush line. I could collect some fish, some more rocks back in there. You've got all these, this brush back in here as well can see it's just kind of gets really thick right here and so this would be your primary area to fish around you've got a tree line that's back here too it goes all the way down through here so we just marked that tree line for you number one just to make sure you don't hit it uh, and be aware of it but two you could also fish it for sure you've got rocks in here and then you've got a really good creek channel swing that goes right in here so if you swing around here you can see it creates this really good hard spot and so this could be a really good area to be fishing around for sure Let's pull this back let's go up here and let's take a look around the edge of this point. So the edge of this point, we basically have some brush that's right here. And then really, this is just a main lake point you want to take a look at. It looks like it may have some hard spots on it. Um, if it does, that's that's good uh, for sure, because you also have that brush that's around it too, or those stick ups. So that's always a, a good thing. And then you've got a pretty major little creek channel coming up in here. These are those flats they were talking about. There's just not a lot going on. Um, in these areas, but you do have those creek channels. And so if they're going to relate to anything, it'll either be the docks or the creek channels. Um, so I would get out here around the creek channels and really fish around this area. Now you do have some rock that's over here. And if you look at this area right here, primo area, right? Because there's, where's there rock that's anywhere close to here? I mean, if I draw a line right here, those fish have no rock at all. The only rock they have is that one spot. Um, so obviously high percentage area you want to go take a look at. And then also look around these bins. So anywhere you have these big turns, those are going to be good areas to go try to locate the fish to. Um, and, you know, look on the insides too. Don't, don't forget to take a look here and see if maybe they've moved up here and they're feeding on shell beds and stuff like that. So you just never know uh, what, what they're up to. But definitely this area right here looks pretty good. You've got a ramp up here, a couple more ramps back in there, but nothing that really looks uh, too promising. Now, if you get down in here, you've also got some additional rock that's right in here. So you've got that rock that's there. And then the next time that they can stop on a hard spot is going to be right here. So this will be their next stop spot. Again, real good hard spot, real good ledge. You got rock basically all the way right through here. You've got a little ramp back there and you've got some more rock in here. And then if the water was up enough, you could fish back in here and fish the rock around that area. Uh, and then, of course, you get out here off the where it kind of bends right here. And you got some brush that's right here on the inside of that bin. So possibly take a look at this brush. This can be good to you. Depends on if they're setting up on the brush or the rock. Um, obviously they'll, you know, they'll, they can do both sometimes. And then sometimes they're very specific. They'll only be on the brush or they'll only be on the rock. And then you also have some rock that's right in here too. Take a look at pretty decent little ledge going on right there as well. 
So let's pull this back again now that we see that from that area and let's pull it up to 2022 and let's see what it looks like now. So we talked about the rocky spots, right? Again, I told you I'd probably be offshore on this lake. I mean, I'm not, with no doubt that I would definitely be fishing offshore, but here are those rock spots. You got some rock here as well. That hard spot that I was telling you about, they'd be attracted to, it's right here. You can't even tell. If you pulled up to the bank right now, you'd be like, oh, that's just a do-nothing bank. You'd have no idea you had all this rock and good, good stuff to fish around that was underneath you. Um, so that's actually a good stopping spot because if we stop right here around where that rock was, what we can do is we can start on this brush for the next one. We'll go back. We'll take it back to 2014, just like we did on this video, and we'll continue to break down the lake until we get down back down to around the dam. And then once we get back to the dam, what we're going to do is we're going to switch over and we're going to use Navionics web app to actually uncover the uh, the offshore fishing spots that we talked about. And remember, I told you guys we have a lot of those that are out there. So if I put those back up on the screen for you real quick, you'll see them. We got several of them to take a look at. Here's a couple of them that are out here. We're going to talk about all of those as well and why those are going to be good spots to fish. So if you haven't had a chance yet, please go out and check out our website, simplisticfishing.com. We have all of these waypoints, offshore waypoints, uh, land waypoints, all the stuff we've been talking about. We have it all on the website. You can either order a digital file and I can email you the files, or you can purchase an SD card and just take that SD card, plug it into your graph, and it will change the way you fish. Hey, until next time, I hope you catch your PB. Take it easy.